Okay, this is vacation field trip number two. <laughs> We're actually at the Timex Museum called the Time Expo in Waterbury, Connecticut. But outside there is this super cool giant Easter Island statue. But I'm sure we'll learn more about him and why he's there when we go inside. Okay, we're on the third floor and this shows how Timex actually began as the Waterbury Clock Company. And they've just got some really cool displays of some really neat looking old clocks and other displays that shows that little coiled mainspring is actually nine feet long that went in those pocket watches. So going through here there's some really great information on antique clocks. I love coming to places like this. They're really really worth it to learn about American history. But there's all about the clocks that they made and then I'll show you this one little section and then we'll go in to find out how Mickey Mouse saved the watch company. Okay, fun stuff. You get to make your own paper watch right here. And now, so this is, you have your choice of the face. And you're going to be on YouTube now. Press it, and it stamps the face. Ooh. Whoopee! <laughs> and now, then you pick your strap to your watch, or you don't drop oh no. it. You're and I'm choosing the one that says Time Expo because that's why that's where we are. You push it in all the way. And again, you have to press two because there's two parts to the strap. And then you try to get it out of here. And there you are. A Time Expo strap. Ooh. And this is the bezel. That one there looks kind of cool, though. See, it's different than these. See well, the one? I have to go on the other side. Look cool. <laughs> and that's the decoration. For I'll come around. Around. We're doing oh, this. That's the one that Did you not like that one? Well, that's different. I don't care which so one. So you push is. this in here again to get whatever, around the face of the clock. There and it is. There is your watch. Which is, you can't see it on the video, but it's, but later it's on like we'll punched take, out. So we did can, it on the wrong side. Oh my god. <laughs> well, we'll go back to making another watch. We'll come back to you in Should a moment. Alright, we were wrong. It, it doesn't matter what side you do it on. That's pretty funny. She's over there still stamping out more little watches. How cute is that, though? What a cool little project for kids. There it is. A Time Expo watch. Ooh. The paper watch next to the Are real Time X watch. So you can take them home? Yeah, we're going to make two for the kids. But we have to see how Mickey Mouse saved the company. And it was because in 1929, as the company teetered... Did what did you do? Oh, she's got it stuck. Anyway, the company was almost in financial ruin, and they bought the rights for $1,500 from Walt Disney to do Mickey Mouse watches, and there they are. It saved the company. And what they say, a huge sales of Mickey Mouse watches were directly responsible for the reemployment of hundreds of former workers, wage increases, and expanded hours of operation. The workforce grew tenfold between 1933 and 1935, from 300 employees to nearly 3,000 during the Great Depression. And it's kind of cool. So that's how Timex got saved. There are a couple little sections where they show the old commercials and advertisements for Timex. Now they will test the durability of the famous 
this Timex water-resistant watch. They're almost at the top of the diving tower now. I remember this one. And they have the watch on the propeller. Strapped to the foreleg of this amazing animal. In just a moment, you'll see 200 pounds of force hit the water. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Thank you. And here's our Timex. Still running, still ticking away. Proof that our Timex is really water resistant and sturdy. And is just as handsome as it is rugged. There you have the famous Timex Marlin. And next to it, the Timex Sportster is a. So they have a pretty cool cultural origins exhibit in here as well. It goes through a lot of the excursions and things they took. This reminds me of that Willy Wonka ride. Okay, this is a display about Easter Island, and this cultural um, display in this whole room is basically about different cultures throughout time, and so this is really kind of cool. And over here, it talks about Easter Island history, and it has to do with um, the reed rafts that they would use, and sweet potatoes, how they grew those, and of course, there's some stor stories about these cool statues that they have. So anyway, that's what this display in this room is all about. And this is inside looking outside at that super cool Easter Island statue. An Interstate 84. Yeah, an Interstate 84 in Waterbury, Connecticut. <laughs> Pretty cool. I'm looking at this reed boat and you can see that reed grass. If you look very closely, you can see how it's little bits and they're overlapping and then those straps around are braided and then it looks like you would pull those two pieces apart and stand down in the center of it like that picture. But if you had to build a raft and had reeds, there you go. That's how you do it. Shop and they're showing all kinds of watches, but I can't apparently show the gift shop itself. I can show this part. So anyway, I'm going to do some shopping. <laughs> 